doing out with your ex? Man, her people died. Her granddaddy died. I'm out with the girl. She's my friend. That's your granddaddy? No, but I love her, though. I don't give a f who died. You always treat me, A motherfucking shoulder to cry on is a to ride on. You done made it to Atlanta. Thank God. Finally. Can't, get, can't get your ass out of New Orleans, baby. I be working, girl. Working on new music. About to drop my first project. And I got a new man. His name is Tobias. <laughs> baby, Tobias is everything. He's a rapper and a writer. So, you know, we be working together, but we be playing together, too. Tobias is part of the reason I moved to Atlanta, but mainly I came here to get my career popping. Y'all know I ain't none of them little Slim Jim cookie cutter bitches, you know what I'm saying? Who needs a snack when, you know what I'm saying, I'm clearly an entree. I'm here to, you know, show them a little something different, bon appetit. <laughs> we gonna get movies next time, Tope. You act like you tired. I am tired. Thank you. You hear me? What you cooking over there? You know, a little razzle-dazzle, you know I do. Tobias is my boyfriend, like my official boyfriend, like that's my man. Like it's a lot of fish in the sea, but that fish is my fish. So don't touch my fish. I will burn your ass with grease. So pretty girl. Hey. Tell me something good. I'm excited about this whole Atlanta move. I'm happy you here, buddy. Some vultures out here. I know you I got like Sierra there. out here and stuff like that. And you know, she introduced me to Carly Rae. I'm familiar with her. How you doing? I'm just in passing. She's a real nice chick, but um, it's a lot of things that came out at the shop while we was there. Like, we're sitting in there chilling. One of her employees felt like that was the perfect time to tell Sierra that her husband stepped out on a marriage and actually has a two-year-old child and a child on the way. I'm just glad I ain't got to deal with that These girls out here, they just going like, <laughs> it's a lot of nothing, not enough of anything out here. You can't hear to do music. All that stuff. This is far out here. You know, I'm out here with my manager busy until okay. my apartment ready. You could have stayed with me. Mm, I don't know about that. No, I'm not interested in playing house with you, okay? I don't want to be obligated to do all these wifely things, and I'm not your wife. I know what you think, huh? What? I'm gonna try to get some. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I know, right? No, nah, no. Nah. You ain't. What you know? <laughs> and independence from Tobias. It's also another reason why I'm just not so quick to shack up and play house with him. I'm a virgin. It's not a religious thing, and I'm not saving myself to marriage. I'm saving myself to I want to do things. It ain't number six. I'm so glad you feel that way. But sh I got to be the first to get it. Baby, my virginity is not up for discussion, OK? I feel like it's going to be a very natural and organic thing. Only time will tell. Let me pray over this food and that right there real quick. Hold on. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I'm happy you're here, girl. Yeah. <laughs> After my release party, I had a show all the time. And then all of a sudden, I got to get a phone call from one of my partners and hear that Tobias stupid ass up here with some females. Maybe Tobias think it's all right for him to be around here hoeing around because I'm not hoeing around with him, but the fact of the matter is I'm still your girlfriend and I deserve the same respect that you'll get on one of these hoes that was running around here topping you off. So with that being said, you don't have to be with me. What's up, Tope? Why is it that I'm out of town and I'm hearing you out enjoying tacos with some hoes? Some hoes? What you, what you, what you talking about? What you mean? Where you get that from? Stop playing stupid. Hold on, hold on. First is with Carly. I you think I'm smashing everybody told like I'm just a I don't know what the f to believe. Who the girl was? That's my ex. Your ex? What are you even doing out with your ex? Man, her people died. Her granddaddy died. I'm out with the girl. She's That's my friend. That's your granddaddy? No, but I love her, though. I wasn't doing anything wrong with my ex. I was strictly trying to be there for her as a friend. She's blowing things way out of proportion, just like she did when she heard the info about me and Carly Red. And you know what? I'm sick of being treated like the bad guy. Who that? You always treat me. A motherfucking man. shoulder to cry on is a to ride on. You around here talking about? To cry no, you around here talking that you that you don't with that girl. You probably is fucking with Carly and any other motherfucking body. None of them girls, man. You tripping? Cause you a virgin. You insecure about it. I'm not insecure man, about a motherfucking thing. I don't know what type of bitch Quit that guy like is, but I'm that bitch. Man, what you gonna do, Tony? What you mean? What I'm gonna you ain't do? Going you out here dealing with your motherfucking ex? Cause you ain't give me no. You think I'm just out here smashing? Tobias gets mad if he see me talking to my ex accountant. I don't know why he's trying to act like it's nothing that he was out 
eating with his ex-girlfriend. If he don't stop making sense out of all this, he gonna have a new ex to deal with pretty soon. He ain't got no business Man, with her. Because if it was me, you would be ready to click out. No, you yes, tell you, tell you, you like a You clicking yes, that. You, yeah, you clicking am, for that. tripping. And you think it's funny why you around this bitch laughing like I'm gonna hit you in your <laughs> Tobias is supposed to be my best friend. For him to jeopardize our whole relationship, bitch, I'm disgusted. So what y'all knew how do? What you mean what she what do? What y'all knew how do? She a flight attendant. Bitch, you a loser. You out here playing with a mother hole that swing peanut. Chill out, Toby. What the hell must have let you get up on the pain? Man, you tripping. <laughs> All right, bruh. I'm gone. I'm off you. You a clown. Go fly high with your mother spirit hole. You know what type of bitch I am. You know how I'm rocking. Plug me. You got a bitch I like who got you a too, job. Bro. A hoe who got a boss. Like, how you gonna leave first class for standby? Like, come on. That's your insecurities. Yeah, whatever. Ain't nothing insecure about me, bitch. Bitch, I beat you and her up. And you know that. Tokyo's here. Hey, so, what's up, baby girl? What's good? How you doing, hey, bro? Sis. I'm glad hey. you made it. Why the hell pointing at me? I didn't want to start no drama and rush you to grand opening, so I just stayed away. But why should I stay in my hotel room all day? Ain't nobody worrying about no damn spice. We finally here in Texas. I honestly wish I was able to take an earlier flight with Sierra right now because it's been a long, quiet flight with Carly Rae. And I don't have nothing to say to this girl. She fake and she messy, so I'ma just keep my ass quiet until we get to this hotel. Y'all all right? What's wrong with y'all? Y'all been quiet in Atlanta. You're quiet on the plane. What's wrong? Ain't nothing wrong with me. I don't have time for all that fake ass Who's being fake? I mean, there's only three of us here. Flip a coin. Carly, what'd you do to Tokyo? Carly, what's the matter? You know, it's really nice when toxic people stop talking to you. You're the toxic person, always doing some lame ass shit, all that wack ass shit you keep doing. She's just you mad know? because Tobias is with Spice. That's not my fault. No, I'm mad because you missed the whole principle. She went on a double date with her friend and her man, and my dude was there. Mm. Okay. And she felt no need to call me, but you mm. called me any other time for any other thing. That's wack as why didn't you call her and tell her? I did call this bitch. But? OK, yeah. thank you. I did call her. She answered her phone. And then. Why you ain't send a text like you always do? Girl, I get the You could have sent me a message, so said, okay, an email, a I, message in a bottle, a blimp in the sky. Can you apologize just okay. a little bit? All right. Sorry I didn't break down the doors, or I didn't go crazy. You can save all that. No, you been. You you're not You're being rude, though, Carly. You can save Come all that. Carly, that's a terrible apology. It was mean as hell just now. No, and I said I'm trying to apologize. I'm your, I'm your friend. I'm telling you, being okay, a jerk. So let me, Tokyo. I truly apologize for not telling you, Carly. For I not, truly apologize for not giving a mother girl. Okay, you see, Tokyo's coming. Why would Tokyo need to come? Like, she was in a relationship with this guy. Like, right. why would now I want to be her friend? Now that you guys are dating, and we all have to be in the same space together, we don't want it to I go left. That's why like we want it. everything to just hey, be. Hey, ladies, how y'all doing? Hi, Tokyo. Hi, sis, what's hey. up? How you doing? Good. That's Tokyo? Yes, Tokyo, this is Spice. Spice, this is Tokyo. Hey, our nice friend, friend, our friend. OK. We're all friends here. I guess. OK. How convenient it is that Ciara and Mimi invited me here for brunch, but forgot to tell me that Spice was going to be here. I thought we was having hash browns this morning, bitch. I ain't know we was here to hash it out with the girl that's fooling with somebody that I was fooling with. Well, I wanted to introduce you guys and make sure that everybody can be on the same page because we all have to be around each other for the next few days here in Texas. I have no idea why Mimi and Sierra want me to be cool with this girl. Carly told me, oh, Tokyo said, oh, spice, whatever, whatever. What are we here for? We're going to eat us a good little brunch, and then we're going to enjoy the rest of the week. I don't think she wants nothing else to eat, trust me. I mean, hey, you pushing it, too. What's I mean, you're not that far from me, so. Mm -hmm. I'm just. But why the? Why the sarcasm? I mean, I don't really have no sarcasm, you know. Mm. All in all, I'm grown. My problem not with her. My problem with Tobias. I don't even know what I'm even here for. Right, like. but, right. But you were... Excuse me? 
I was what? No, me she worse. does. She me she's worse. Jamaican, so she. Yeah, she. It's the hard way for me to when hear you her, say she's she say things, we really we don't, don't be know what she's saying. Why are you looking at me? If she have a problem with Tobias, it has nothing to do with me. Whatever problem she had with Tobias, that with she and Tobias. Like, why are you looking at me? No, it has I nothing to do with me. I just said I don't have no problem with you, though. Can't have no problem with me, girl. Trust me. All right, what we doing all that for? I don't know you, so. And I worse don't know you, and I didn't want to know you. All right, well, I'm here now. If you two didn't do this, I would see her and not see her. Like, we didn't even have but to have But we are going to be in the same space together a lot. <sighs> All right, so you want me to try and have a conversation? Because the only thing... You don't have to have a conversation. I mean, you just ask him to make sure there's um, no tension. Tobias said that they're not together anymore. And yeah. as long as they're not together anymore, I'm not I mean, in a relationship. I mean, he just posted me on Insta Snap last night, so... Oh, so you are together. Spit it out. Are you together with him? Yes or no? Let's get it over I'm, with. Who like, you are talking you to? I'm not your child. Oh, God. I'm out of here. Fire in the... Just let it go. I tried to be nice. I tried to be grown, but Spice just kept throwing them stupid ass sarcastic jabs. Now we stuck here in Texas with some real problems. Big old cow. Guess we have an albatross. The this big old octopus. Road. You're fine. Hi, Jack. So, oh, look at them getting a little. <laughs> we had this hay ride, and it looked like Carly a little more interested in rolling in the hair with Jock. But you just hated this man guts. But you see, that's what I'm talking about. This is just fake and phony, girl. You talk. Let's eat. Child time. Let's go. Thank you. Oh, this good, man. Real good. Congrats, man, Rashida. Man. The grand opening, I must say. It was oh, like, I'm so you. proud of you. I'm so happy. You know, thanks for having me here. No I'm already problem. having fun. Yeah, and again, sis, I'm really sorry I was not there. I apologize. I still love y'all. Well, you just took a free trip on their dime and just come to the <laughs> grand. Yeah, she did. <laughs> she did some bull <laughs> I was coming to the grand opening, but I had a mishap before, so it was best that I stayed. A mishap. Oh, God, here we go. I'm saying, you know, people just be real disrespectful. Disrespectful? Who was disrespectful? You! I wasn't disrespectful. Yes, you were. You threw your purse. Yeah, so because you, you disrespected me. And I, I told disrespected you, you. I told you plenty of let times me get that straight. I did not no, have a problem with you. Let me get straight, Tokyo. You so don't have a problem with me the... in front I of my face. I don't have no problem with you. You don't have a problem with me because before you met me, you told Carly that spice and you never met me. You and anybody who dealing with him, that's how I talk. Just because I'm sorry about what happened today. Oh, there. I feel better, Teddy. How are you feeling about what happened today? Girl, it's just a lot. You know, when I told Spice, like, I don't have a problem with you. The first thing she said was, Carly told me what y'all be saying and this and that. She basically said, Carly is stirring the pot. Spice was rude to me the first time they introduced her to me, so I felt it was only fair that I introduced her to my purse across her forehead. It's obvious that Carly then went back to Spice and really told this girl some other and you know that's not what I said. Now, what kind of friend do that, Carly? Bitch, you fake. Carly is miswording what I said. When she told me about Tobias and Spice, my exact words was, that whole situation because it's a chapter that I'm trying to get past. See, here's my problem with Carly. If that's what you want to do, stay the f from around me. You haven't known me that long, right. so like you really couldn't really gauge my growth. It took a long time for me to detach violence from my name. I just finally got rid of that on my name, and I get out here, and it's somebody who's trying to take me back to that, and I'm trying to be mature. And then, like, I love the f out who I am, OK? I love everything about me. When somebody feel like that's something that you're supposed to be, like, down about, it's a million women who, they, you know, they talk to me every day, and they be like, I love you, you make me feel what? You make me feel beautiful, and yeah. you make me feel like I'm supposed yeah. to be who I am. You think I ain't never heard a fat joke before? Bitch, I love myself the way I am. 
but it don't give people the right to be mean and hateful. I want to be an example for them girls that look up to me. And by feeding into all that negativity that Spice bought really blew me because I let her bring me right back to where I came from and I really felt like I let all those little girls who look up to me, I let them down. That this that make me mad. Cause I'm trying to be mature. I'm trying to tell you that girl, I don't want no problems with you. Cause I will really hurt you. So I'm trying to defuse this with her. Cause I don't, I don't want to go there with her. We're not gonna diffuse. We're gonna talk to Spice. I don't want to go there with her. Like, Every time it's yeah. time to talk to her, she start talking all that rah rah African. Shit, and I don't understand it's all that, African. and it make me nervous. Yeah, but like no, I don't, I don't even understand yeah. all that this and that look, bitch. I don't understand it. Says you can be happy with Spice, where you're both level headed and we just go ahead and squash this. Would you consider talking to Spice again? If you will set the meeting up and she want to talk like adults yeah. without all that rah-rah yeah. then I'm down. If not, then whatever, because I'm I'm really over this I'm tired of going back and forth. All right. All right. Hey. Hey, girl. How are you? I'm good now. OK. Thank you for coming. Melissa arranged for me and Spice to meet up with Rashida and talk before the campfire. And I think I owe Rashida that. Hey, what's up? How are Hi, you? I'm good. Let me get a hug. Tonight's bonfire is important to me because it's about healing and repairing some of these relationships. But these two right here cannot get together without brawling. And it's not going to be none of that tonight. So I just want them to sit and try to work things out so they don't mess up the whole night for everybody. I brought this trip for all of us to be able to come together, have a good time, experience something different. I want you guys to sit down and have a grown woman conversation amongst y'all. I'm gonna step out the picture. Now I'm gonna go get the rest of these foods. Y'all got some time, <laughs> okay? All right. The way I came off the first time I met you because I heard that you were saying stuff before you met me. Carly said that you said spice, da 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 da. So I'm not gonna be nice when I meet you. My exact words was, I don't give a f about a Tobias, a spice, and, and a Carly either. Girl, f all that, f everybody. Like that's how I felt at the moment. My problem not with you. I don't know you to have a problem with you. Men gonna be me. You came to brunch, you threw a purse at me. So it's way past. Yeah, cause you said a few things. Like you just was steady poking and jabbing. Why you ain't just be like, all right, so what you said? Like, we could have talked about it. I said what I said, but it was I'm delivered to you wrong. I don't nothing. I don't know you. Okay, I just met you. Okay, but we sitting at the table, bitch. You asked me why you throw a purse at me. You said bitch? Hmm? Did you say bitch or butt? When? Oh, talk slow, because I don't want to You talk slow things. because I can't understand a lot of things I you say. I'm come from here. I can't understand, understand a lot of things you say, but I don't say anything about it. So, you know, we're not here for that. Well, here Point what? Blank. Here what? I'm, 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 I'm going to be the bigger person. I'm here on this trip. I want to have fun. I want to ride horses. Yeah. I want to go hiking. I want to do whatever. All I have is all of you guys. So don't f up the trip, and I won't f the trip up. And right. I, we can just call it squids and move Perfect. on like two big Sounds people so we don't have to keep Sounds fighting. Sound and as long as you me. don't call me bitch, that's I won't have I to come at you. That's how I talk. Just call me a bitch back, and we just gonna keep it moving. Spice, I'm just glad that you're mature enough to not have a problem with me after I've told you numerous times on this trip that I don't have a problem with you. Okay. We just got back from Texas, and I'm grateful to be back into civilization. I really hate that I let Carly and Spice get me out my character on this trip because that's not who I am no more. I just want to move on from the whole petty situation and focus on my music. So I did something a little crazy. I'm really rocking, she rocking. Please tell your ho, she can stop it. And begging me to talk, and I finally broke down and invited him to my performance so I could get a little closer. But I look into the audience, and I see his stupid ass standing next to Keely, who been messy since the first time I met her. I'm keeping it cute for the fans, but I'm seeing red. I probably got off on the wrong foot with Tokyo. I want you to call the toe and work that out. I don't have a problem with sitting down and talking to
What's up, baby? Good job. Got some for you. I ain't seen you in a minute. Same. Don't bring no bitch I don't bitch in my dressing Listen. room. Hey, look. Keely, she ain't on that. Son, escort your company out of here. What I need to talk to Keely for? She messy. She was messy when she ain't even know me. And now, Tobias, your time just ran out. So get your mother guess, because I don't want to talk to you either. Tell your company to leave. Come on, Tobias. Tell your company to leave. Come. I get what you're saying. Yeah, we, good. we got off on the wrong talk. foot, but you did a great performance. Yeah, though. thank you. Appreciate it. You just bought a whole bitch in here that I don't with. Y'all finna be on the first mother man, flight chill to chill out with that, man. No. I, I don't. The girl ain't know son, that. I don't give a what she on. Point blank, I don't like her. Don't bring that hoe around me. And that's don't how do I that. feel. You don't like that flowers, too? Come on, you son. looking good right now. How you doing that? Like, you really got me up. You know that? First of all, don't try to work forward towards us if you dating, Spice. She don't owe me no explanation or nothing. But you out on a double date with mother who I'm cool with. Cool, you parading all around town. There. I was open to hearing Tobias out until he showed up with Keely. Now I'm not in the mood, and he not even giving me a good explanation or an apology. He's just pissing me off all over again. So you can do what you want to do. I just bought these flowers. I don't though. give a I can't, about nothing to Tobias. Tobias. Man, you tripping. Bye. So over. Over. Done. Ove. I don't have nothing else to talk to you about. So, I mean, you can get the Thank you. Have a great day. One thing that I did suffer with a lot growing up was, like, behavioral problems. And sometimes instead of people, like, talking to us or telling us that, you know, you beautiful or you should try to do things this way, like, they just write us off. So we grow up and we become these hard shells and rough around the edges and stuff like that. So, you know, um... With that being said, um... I'm giving my speech to empower all these beautiful women that didn't came from all these different backgrounds and baby, and walks to bias. I ain't even know he knew where to find me, but at least he came by himself this time. Good boy. So, like, has anyone here, like, ever battled with, like, um, self-esteem issues? My house is being dark. Being dark? Being too dark. Girl, you okay. are pretty. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Um, for me, I used to have like a pretty really nice shape, and then when I had my son, I had more sagging breasts. So for me, like being having to change what I wanted to wear and everything like Girl, that. Girl, I ain't even thought of having no children and my <laughs> be sagging. So <laughs> like it is what it is. You will never in your life get a chance to be nobody else but the person you are. Right. Mm -hmm. So either you gonna love that person. Oh, baby, you're gonna spend your whole life miserable. Well, ladies, I'd like to thank you for coming out to Connecting Communities this evening, and I'll see you next week. Have a good night. Thank you. Well, sis, I know you probably don't want to be bothered, but I kind of went above your head and invited Tobias to the event tonight. You OK with this? Like, you beefing with Spice over this guy. I don't have a problem with Spice or Carly. My problem was always with him. But the disrespect, I wasn't going to do that, though. You like this guy? I love him. Oh. I'm going to go get him. Sierra has always been team Tobias. So it don't even surprise me that after I told her I was still feeling him a little bit, she invited him here. But I'm kind of glad he's here. Here you go, sir. Get your hand off. Here you go. <laughs> hey, man. You did good tonight. Good job. I'm proud of you. What's up, dog? Why are you, are you going to dog me now? You know that's what you are going to do. Don't do that. What? You do not. What? No, because you me, do dog. not. No, because you don't understand, like, I don't like how you been acting lately. I apologize. I know, that's not good enough. Like, you on Peter Street consoling some bitch that I don't give a fuck about. Then the whole was spice, that was ugly because you know how I am. That spice, that, that ain't nothing. That's... And clearly you been with her, so you what that her? is. What you mean? Whatever it was, like, y'all going time. on dates and all that I didn't know you knew her. her. Yeah, my heart be fast. You love me, don't you? <laughs> yes, you do, look at you. <laughs> Yeah, you know that, but know. it just still. So look, listen, listen, I want to take you out. Let's go catch up. It's been a minute. Let's catch up. I see. What do you mean you'll see? I don't like Tobias. Baby, I love him. And now that he's come to me by himself with a real apology, 
I think we might be able to work something out. Don't cry, Obi. Cry? No, <laughs> you crazy. Thank y'all so much for having me. We lose people to senseless gun violence all the time. So this was definitely something I wanted to be a part of. Thank you, everybody, for coming out for real. <laughs> So there's about stopping the violence, and that's definitely something I want to do in my personal life. I see Spice in the crowd looking like she want to be my new best friend, and baby, I'm here for it. Me and Tobias are working on our relationship and everything good on our end, so I'm just glad all that shit's over. My bestie, she a bad. Back together and we making up for lost time and it really feels so good to have my partner back for real. <laughs> you know, it wasn't really easy being a new girl in the A. And it was a lot of times where I just wanted to pack all my shit up and go back to New Orleans. But I'm a fighter, baby. I always have been, always will be. Okay, Tobias, tell me about what first made you interested in Tokyo to make her your lady. Obviously, Tokyo has a little weight on her, but I mean, you know, she got so much confidence. Like, she probably got more confidence. We know that. Oh. <laughs> but she probably got more confidence than any woman I've ever met, you know okay. what I mean? So, kind of attracted me to her. So, Tokyo, why was it important you to talk about the fact that you were a virgin? Because I just feel like it's a lot of women out here who make decisions with men and stuff because they feel like being sexual with a man fast, keep a man, but all my homegirls <laughs> and they all getting cheated on. <laughs> what you trying to say? <laughs> I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm just saying, all these it ain't like go through relationship problems. So I just feel like, you know, I move when I'm ready, not when somebody ready for me to move. I ain't gonna pressure. No pressure? Nah. None coming from you? I need you to hit that subscribe button. Yes, right now. Because you don't want to miss me being messy, being crazy, and being Carly Red on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. So hit the subscribe button so you can get videos in your inbox. And then, that, look at Look at that, look at God, look how they, look how we just technology all up in here.